During winter break, I decided I want to like make something and so I'm going to be crocheting a sweater vest. So this is just the intro. Um, I'm going to do this. It's not like a tutorial because that would make it way too long. It would be like over an hour. So this is just going to be like um, a vlog style thing, I guess, and like just show you how I did it but not like in depth so I'm using this yarn called Karen one pound Karen <laughs> um, and the color is in canal and so I have two of these because um, the sweater vest is like it had it's like cable knit so it'll take up a lot of yarn but I'm hoping these two are enough and then I just have this crew. I just have this crochet hook that I use for like anything I crochet and it's 2.75 millimeters. I'm not an expert so I don't know if this is the right size. It probably says on the package for the yarn but I'm not getting a new crochet hook just for this project. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. I finished the front of the sweater vest and it's definitely going to be oversized because it is originally like a pattern for a men's sweater vest but I like the cables in it so I did it and now I still need to do the back of it but I finished the front so progress And my cat likes it too. So I've finished the front and I realized that it's like way too long so I'm going to um, unravel it down to here which is like row 29 and then I'm gonna do the v-neck again so it's a bit cropped and it's better for layering because right now it's too oversized and I'm not sure I would like it if it was like this size so and if it was cropped it would kind of look like this so it'd be just better to wear for me since i'm pretty short anyway so i don't want to be like consumed by the sweater vest originally you do um these repeated rows until you get to row 41 and then after that is where the v-neck part starts but um since i don't want it to be as long i'm going to stop after like row 29 i think and then so i'm gonna skip all of these but then do the v-neck part so that's what i'm doing on the back right now okay it's time to unravel this and like it kind of hurts my soul because I spent so much time on this over winter break and now it's the week after winter break and I'm still not done but I think it'll be fine since I like how it looks cropped better than like the really bulky and oversized thing because it was the pattern was originally made for like menswear so I've got to make it suit my needs <laughs> doing the front and the back so on the front I have this v-neck and then on the back um, I didn't do that I did most of the way up is straight and then I try to add this like kind of curved neckline but the tension is kind of weird so it looks very wavy right now and I just have to sew it together then I'll be done yay And here is the final product. It actually turned out better than I thought, but also it's like kind of mediocre because um, it's oversized, so it makes my shoulders look kind of bulky. 
but you know I can deal with that it's fine so um, and you can see all the details that went into it I really like the cable designs and it actually was easier than I expected to make I paired it with these headbands and then this white turtleneck and some beige pants to like make the blue of the sweater vest really pop against my other layers so that's how I would style it. Um, just some ideas if you have a piece of clothing like this. Also I am like a pretty beginner level crocheter. I've only crocheted one other thing. It was like a ribbed crop top and I yeah that's all I did but this was actually really easy to follow so I'll definitely put the link to the tutorial down below and if you want to make this I think you should it does take a while but it's pretty rewarding so thank you for watching this week um, I know it's a short video but yeah I'll see you next week